Hello, 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 Facebook. I'm super excited to welcome in Miss Madison Hill from the Greater Miami Valley Big Brothers Big Sisters chapter. Um, we are forming a partnership um, with with you guys that we are super excited about. Our Hero House project, just to kind of set the stage for everything. Our Hero, so we we have a a project called the Hero House Project, where we essentially work with uh, local buyers and sellers. Uh, and we actually donate a portion of our commission back to the hero. And we work specifically with teachers, with healthcare professionals, uh, with first, first responders, uh, Department of Defense. And, um, and so we're excited to partner with you guys in that respect. And then not only that, but provide a platform to help you guys get your kind of your mission statement, your word out about uh, what you need, what you want, and what people can expect if they partner with uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of the Greater Miami Valley. So, with that being said, why don't we uh, why don't we just kind of start off with uh, an introduction for you, Madison? Tell us a little bit about yourself, and then let's go into you know kind of what you can expect with Big Brothers Big Sisters, and then how we can help you. Okay, awesome. So. Um I'm Madison Hill. I'm an enrollment specialist for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, I just started in January. My husband and I are from North Carolina originally. Um, so we are, um, we say y'all, we, we love it in North Carolina. Um, we moved here for the military. Um, so we'll be here for a little bit. You never know with the military how long. So um, we're enjoying our stay in Ohio. Um, so for Big Brothers Big Sisters, I concentrate on recruiting volunteers, but also matching those volunteers that come in through our program with kids in the area. Um, so just to give everyone an idea, it's one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Um, and we have kids who come from all sorts of backgrounds, um, all throughout Montgomery County, Miami, Green, and Preble County. Um, and we want you guys to connect, to do things you already love with a child in the area, and just to be a good influence for them. Um, they might not have a good role model in their life, and we just want to make those connections. Um, so for Big Brothers Big Sisters, we're seeing so many um, great things happen for our kids. They're staying in school longer. They're avoiding risky behaviors. They are, um, they're saying that their bigs have a positive influence on our life. So we're just trying to keep that happening, make more matches, make sure that not a child in Dayton goes without having a mentor in their life. What a great mission, man. And so I'm curious for you, obviously that's a lot of information to unpack, but for you, how did you get connected with Big Brothers and Big Sisters and why is it important to you? So right when we moved into the area, um, I was looking for a job and got connected with someone downtown. Um, actually the Victory Project, um, yeah, I was in that book. area. Yeah, um, and a friend said, oh, I work with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, you know, I'll let you know if we have an opening. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'd want to get involved with that. Um, and I'd always wanted to do advocacy work, uh, just didn't know exactly how. And a position came open. I applied that day. Um, and it's always had a special place in my heart to work with youth. Um, so being able to interview kids, see why they want a big, um, why their parents think that it would be such a great idea for them to have a big and why they need it. You know, they may be in a one parent household. They may just need somebody in their corner to have a conversation with. Um, and it's been a great experience to see from interview and application of the process to being matched. And I mean, some kids, they have a match for six, eight years and they just love hanging out. And we've had success stories about Biggs being like the best man in like a child, their child's wedding. That's so, awesome. It's just awesome to see. So how do you get connected with these kiddos? Like what, what, where does Big Brothers, Big Sisters come in in their lives? Um, so we have two types of programs. We have a community-based program where um, parents honestly just inquire online and it comes into our system and we send them all the information that they need. So that is not partnered with a school. That is just the parents wants them to be involved and they reach out directly. So the parent and the child would meet with the volunteer like two to three times a month, um, two to three hours each outing. And they would just do something fun together. But we also have a site-based program that we have like a team with a school and they connect us directly to kids like a guidance counselor will refer them or like a social worker and they'll give us their application and then we'll go from there. But the volunteer will meet with the child once a week, the same time, same day, every week 
um, just for like an hour to help them with their homework or play a board game or they have reading logs um, that they can go through together. Um, okay. So two different programs for, um, you know, whatever people's schedules are, whatever would work better for them. Okay. And what, when you like, what would you say the typical parent situation is that um, feels compelled to reach out to you guys, whether online or, or calling you? What, what, what set up the scenario of what that looks like? I mean, we have a little bit of everything. Um, we have a lot of single parent homes. We have a lot of um, grandparents who are reaching out to raise um, their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, and when they inquire, they're wanting someone who can just talk to their child one because, um, you know, they're trying to instill good values in their kids. But a lot of times as kids, we don't, you know, we didn't want to listen to our parents. And as soon as we heard it from a friend, you know, the advice our parents were giving it to us, we it immediately clicked. But it, it wasn't coming from our parents. Yeah. Um, so they're just hoping for someone who can give them advice, um, just be a positive role model, um, especially with our young men. Um, we're seeing that they have um, no father figure or no male figure in their life, and they just need that to be able to encourage them to reach their goals, to be able to encourage them to stay in school and stay out of trouble, um, and to engage in like a hobby or um, just an activity that they wouldn't necessarily try. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And so... I know from you being at our team meeting that you guys have a shortage of, of, of big men, right? And Absolutely. you guys, so you, you're really, you're advocating right now for men to join because you need th these young, these young, these young men, they need some older men role models in their yeah. lives. And so you're encouraging men to, to sign up. What can somebody, what can somebody that signs up expect? So right now, like you said, um, we actually have 40 um, plus littles who are waiting and they've already been interviewed to be matched. And then we have 40 more who are waiting to be interviewed. And we're just trying to keep up um, to keep them in the program. Um, so when a male signs up, they can expect to, you know, go through a process of application orientation, interview, background check references, just because child safety is our number one priority. Yeah. But then um, after that, we'll like have a match introduction, introduction meeting where um, one of our staff, the volunteer and the little and their parents will all meet together and it'll be the start of the match. Um, so they don't have to do anything crazy. We're not asking for people to spend a lot of money on these kids. Mm -hmm. We actually encourage free and low cost activities. Um, there's so many events in downtown Dayton and the surrounding area all the time um, that are free for kids. And we encourage you um, to take the kid to that, to um, go to the park, play basketball, take them on a walk with your dog if you have pets. Um, so, the effort and the amount of time that goes into it is small and simple, but the impact is huge. Yeah. Um, and we're just wanting to emphasize that, especially during this month, um, we're running a campaign to try to um, recruit 30 bigs in 30 days. And as of today, it's it's the halfway point. So we're, we're tugging along, we're still recruiting. That's great, man. So what's really cool is that, you know, there's this, there's this intangible like giving, um, feeling that you get Did you get my question? We had a little technical blip there. Oh, we're good. So you're saying what's like the impact on the kids? Yeah, well, I, well I'm saying, for, I, I guess, first of all, so there's there's an impact on both sides. And I think that's probably the coolest thing about the whole thing is people don't understand that when, when you donate your time, especially for a cause like this, mm -hmm. that while, you know, it seems like you're making a commitment uh, to to be a part of someone else's life and to give to them, you're also getting something back that, um, it, and, it, and it's intangible. It's something that you can't explain. But what I'm curious to know from you is, I'm sure you've talked to some of these adults, uh, mm -hmm. men or women who have come into the program and mentored some of our young guys and gals. What, what, kind of, what kind of response are you getting from them? What kind of feedback are you getting from them after they've actually done it once or twice with these little guys and gals? Yeah, so I mean, most of the things that I've talked to is in the beginning stages of the process. And their motivation is because like they didn't have that in their life 
or because they had someone great in their life and they want to be that for the child, for the little. They want to be the motivator, the encourager. They want them to reach their goals, to have dreams, to set tangible goals and to reach them. Um, uh, we had a, a fundraiser this past week called Mike's Car Wash. Um, yeah. And we, we were out there trying to raise money. Um, and that was a great opportunity. We had a, um, a big and a little there. Right. And they just love looking at back at all the memories they had made and looking towards the future. The little was already asking things like, um, are we going to talk whenever I graduate? Like, what's our relationship going to be like after that? And they were talking about things like seeing each other's weddings or being able to, you know, be there at graduation to be that su support system. Um, we're not asking bigs to be parents because they have parents. We're just asking them to come alongside um, the school teachers, the parents, the grandparents, and just to be that one extra person to encourage them and um, just walk alongside them for life um, and make sure that they can encourage them in a positive way. Um, you never know how big an impact an outside an outsider will have um, on a child's life. And that's really what they point out when they talk to me, um, saying that um, their little has impacted them in such a big way. And they're hoping that they are impacting their little. Um, but their little has taught them things like humility and um, just showing them um, how to brave and try something. So oftentimes I hear that the bigs, you know, learn more from their little and they're just hoping that the little is learning something from them. That's so cool. And, and so you, I'm sure obviously the, the other side of that coin is um, talking to some of these little guys and gals after they've had a mentor in their life. And, and what, what kind of feedback can you tell me that, um, that after talking to some of these little guys and gals, what, what, what kind of feedback are they giving you? Ah, we are never a stranger to technical difficulties. Miss Madison, can you hear me? Can you hear me? We'll see if we can get Miss Madison back on. But if you are watching this, um, certainly if you live in the Dayton or Cincinnati area, um, please reach out to Miss Madison. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. We're, we're never a stranger to technical difficulties here. Um, and, and certainly um, let's jump right back in. Um, okay. So my last question to you was the other side of that coin is, is with these, with these uh, um, young children is that the impact that the, the mentor has on them or the big, so to speak, has on them. And so I'm, I'm curious, you probably have an opportunity to speak to some of these um, these young children after they've had a mentor or the experience of a mentor in their life and, and what kind of feedback are they giving you? Yeah. So, um, I went to an elementary school the other day to kind of like get feedback. Um, it's important for us to do like end of the year surveys to make sure that we have good information about the effect the big is having on the little. Um, and a lot of the littles, you know, they just love the confidence that is given to them by having that person in their corner. Yeah. Like, wow, someone's coming to visit me every day of the week um, or every every week, one day a week. And like, that's just somebody cool, someone who visits me and, you know, makes me feel special because they're taking time out of their day to come and have lunch with me or help me with my reading or help them with, you know, stuff, something they're struggling with. Um, so it's just that extra confidence booster um, to encourage them and just feel like they have someone who's who's advocating for them and standing up for them. Yeah. Madison, like what kind of statistics um, can you provide that show the type of impact that having a mentor or a big in their lives makes? Yeah, definitely. So we actually see that 46% of our littles are more likely to avoid illegal drugs. 52% um, are more likely to stay in school. 90% um, say that they make better decisions. I mean, the numbers are great. Like, um, we definitely are seeing results, and this definitely is proven to help. Like, one out of three kids in the United States does not have a mentor, um, but the one that does, um, there's statistics that back that up and prove that it's, you know, Im improving their confidence. Um, another one said 93% of little say that their big helps them achieve their goals. Um, 
and that's, you know, that's all we can hope for. Um, and then we also do like reading logs and reading programs with all our littles. Mm -hmm. And so far um, they've, wrote, they've logged 12,000 reading hours together, bigs and littles. And um, that's just, it's just amazing the um, impact that they have and that we're seeing. And, you know, that, that only improves every day because our programs are still running. Um, big Brothers, Big Sisters is all over America. Um, and Miami Valley is just one small part of that. Yeah, that's just an amazing statistic uh, or set of statistics, the type of impact that just spending some time with uh, a young child can have. And, and, and so for me, like I hope the people that are watching this or listening to this, I hope they realize the type of impact that, you know, if they had a Saturday afternoon or some free time after work or whatever, that they they should really commit to doing this, not only for that young child, but for for themselves. Right. Because oh, yeah. we all get something back when we give, and we've all heard the old adage. It's better to give than receive. It is absolutely true. And, and in this case, not only are you giving something, you're giving something that's making an astounding impact on these young children's lives. Yeah. statistically speaking. Uh, and, and so, you know, so, so, so to that guy or gal out there watching uh, you or I or, or whoever will listen to this into the future, how do you recommend that they get signed up? What's the easiest way to get signed up with you? So um, the easiest way is to go to bbbsmiamivalley.org um, and just click volunteer. Um, if they don't even want to fool with that, they can email me directly um, at mhill at bbbs miamivalley.org as well. Um, and we can send out more information. We also have partnerships um, like with Love Ohio Living. We have partnerships with um, businesses in the area um, where their employers refer them to us if they want to get involved. Um, so check with your employer. They may already have a program involved um, that is referring their employees to us. Um, but that's honestly the best way to do it. If you don't want to be a big, we understand some people are stretched thin but everybody knows someone who can. Um, so it's, you can be a big, that would be awesome. If you can't, you know, find somebody and tell them about it. And we would love that and appreciate that as well. Madison, thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me here this afternoon. I am truly excited about our partnership and uh, we look forward to, um, to really building this out and, and helping each other. Um, I, I know that what you guys are doing is, um, just making a, a really big impact on our community. And, you know, the bigger the impact we make on the community, the better it is for all of us. So thank Absolutely. you so much for what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. And we're looking forward to the partnership as well. Um, I don't know if we mentioned this, but we're also trying to improve like community relations with our Bigs with Badges program. Um, and just like you with the um, Hero House Project, um, reaching out to those police officers, firefighters, um, military police, and just trying to bridge that gap in the community between um, the people and the public safety officers. And we just are so excited to partner with y'all in that regard. Yeah, and absolutely. And anybody working with uh, uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of the Greater Miami Valley, um, certainly that is uh, active or retired military, a teacher, a healthcare professional, um, a first responder, um, you are all you are all, uh, um, you are all it, it, our Hero House project is available to you. There is a 20% discount on buying a home or selling a home uh, through the Hero House project. What I mean by that is we're giving, we're, we're actually giving you back, we're crediting you back 20% of our commission and then 5% we would actually donate to big brothers and big sisters of the greater Miami Valley. Uh, and everyone wins when we do that. So once again, Madison, thank you so much for giving me a couple minutes here this afternoon. And uh, yeah. we're really looking forward to this moving forward. We are as well. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.